In this video, we'll conduct a short experiment measuring the heat discharge from the Gund ET102 heat pump trainer. With the experiment data that we have gathered from the displays, we can now manually calculate the heat discharge from the unit and compare that value to the value that's coming out of the data acquisition system on the PC. So let's get started. The universal formula for heat discharge is mass flow times specific heat of the water times delta T. In our case, the delta T, T05 or 39 minus 25.8 equals 13.2 Kelvin. Put into our formula, the mass flow was 48.5 liters, which is kilogram per 3,600 seconds multiplied by 4.187 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin times 13.2 Kelvin. Let's just see whether that cancels out. Kelvin, Kelvin, kilogram, kilogram, that's kilojoule per second or kilowatt. And if I type that into my mobile phone real quick, um, and the result is 0 0.744 kilojoule per second, equaling kilowatt, equaling 744 watts. Let's check that out on the data acquisition system. And it says here that the uh, thermal discharge from the unit is 744 watt exactly. So uh, we ho hope you enjoyed this uh, short experimental video. For more information, make sure to visit our website. And until next time, bye bye from Hamburg.